Okay, y'all. This is a quick video on how to bypass the brake switch down here. You got to be a total pain in the butt with this switch. So I clipped all the wires and I bypassed it. Now it works great. I don't have to. Uh, and basically, after I bypassed it, it bypass the seat switch that's on here too that's that little switch you can get up off the seat and the motor won't die on you all right but it just like I said this had come out that little switch that the brake rides on and I pushed it down in it worked for a while but then I had to keep messing with it. So I finally, I clipped the wires, all the wires going to it. And uh, basically I taped these two together, taped the white, the two white ones together. And then there's three black wires. Um, you have to test them. And it's like nine different combinations pretty much. I finally figured it out. So I, I taped these two together and this one doesn't even and do anything it just kind of hangs in the air but you gotta like test them you know touch two together then ground one it's kind of how I did it but then I finally just started out ended up by just touching two together and it started it stayed running and then when you put it you, you have to test like putting it in gear the blade and mostly you want to see if it will um, not die when you take your foot off the brake pretty much if it starts then, then you're good with the brake. But you need to test like the blade up here and engage it, see if it'll engage. Because sometimes it wouldn't engage, sometimes it would. But you gotta get the right combination with all these, with the black wires. You know, tape the two white ones together and then you gotta find the two black ones that need to be taped together. And then the other one is just dangling here, not doing anything. But uh, I bypassed that switch and now it's a lot more enjoyable to uh, use on this free uh, lawnmower I got here. Pretty cool. And the guy across the street saw me working on this. And here's the trailer I got with it. Got a little rust down in there. But overall, it's great quality. Never used. The guy across the street saw me working on my mower so he wanted me to get his running right here and he's going to pay me two hundred dollars to get it running and and clean it up too it's a Husqvarna it had like tons of paint spray on it and I've been using like a little uh, razor blade to get all the paint off I finally figured out there's only way to do it and there really wasn't too much wrong with it, except they had all kinds of like acorns and nuts down in here and mouse turds everywhere. But this was eaten in half. And I tried to tape it back together, but I couldn't get it back together. You got Magneto right here. So I'm going to order one on eBay. And I think that's about it. Oil looks clean. He's going to pay me like 200 bucks just to get it, clean it up and get it running. Cool. Yeah, I almost got it running here. I think that's the only problem. He chewed this wire right there. I taped it. All right. You guys have a great one.